Complete streets are streets for everyone. Hello, I'm Dwayne Walkon, a transportation planner with the Farmington MPO, or Metropolitan Planning Organization. The MPO serves the cities of Aztec, Bloomfield, Farmington, and the urbanized areas of San Juan County. Complete streets are designed and operated to enable safe access for all users, including pedestrians, bicyclists, motorists, and transit riders of all ages and abilities. Complete streets make it easy to cross the street, walk to shops, and bicycle to work. They can make it safe for people to walk to and from transit stops. So why complete streets? Well, complete streets can be an effective tool for economic development as communities seek to revitalize their local and regional economies. A dramatic example that captures the value of good urban design is evident in the city of Lancaster, California. They invested $11.5 million on a downtown street project that attracted over $130 million in private investment and has generated over $273 million in economic output. Revenues in the downtown area have nearly doubled since 2007, a year before revitalization efforts began. Oftentimes, low-cost measures such as paint treatments, temporary or seasonal barriers such as parklets have really immediate impacts. The Farmington MPO invited the Walkable and Livable Communities Institute in the spring of 2012 to share the work they have done across the country with Complete Streets. This started the momentum and eagerness for Complete Streets in our region. The MPO organized a Complete Streets advisory group to help formulate goals, values, and design guidelines that address regional needs, but will also educate and engage community members with Complete Street concepts. The Complete Streets Advisory Group will help articulate design guidelines for the MPO planning area. These guidelines will be recommendations to local governments, developers, planners, and public works officials. Each jurisdiction will have the opportunity to provide input to the dimensions of travel lanes, bike lanes, and sidewalks that create regional consistency for stakeholders and government entities. What this entails is to design our streets so that they are comfortable and accommodating to all ages and abilities. For example, designing streets adjacent to schools might include buffered sidewalks and wide bike lanes for children and parents. The growth of our senior population is one of the fastest and largest in U.S. history. Street designs will need to incorporate elements such as wide sidewalks, shorter blocks, accessible and sheltered transit stops and a coordination of land use and transportation planning efforts to make short, comfortable, and accessible trips for our seniors. The largest generation in U.S. history and the most multimodal could be a game changer for public transportation and America's transportation network as a whole. The millennial generation chooses the most flexible alternate modes of transportation, such as public transit, walking, biking, and carpooling. And this flexible concept of mobility is spreading. Cities across the country are taking action to capitalize on the increased demand for transportation options for millennials, expanding bike infrastructure, adding late night transit service, providing access to car sharing, ride sourcing providers, and encouraging residential development in areas where millennials and others increasingly want to live. What works well for children and seniors tends to work for all other age groups. Have you ever wanted to voice any improvements to the existing transportation network, such as the connectivity of neighborhoods, parks, and commercial areas, pedestrian markings, public transit services, safety improvements, amenities for active living, economic vitality measures, or street A aesthetics? If so, please contact the Farmington MPO at 599-1466 to get involved. <music>